Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session I am going to share with you how you can access face recognized application from web browser. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I told you we are going to access our face recognized application from web browser okay so first you need to install open cv tensorflow light media pipe and cv zone on raspbian buster legacy version i have already created a video how to install all these modules i will mention the video link inside the description box watch videos and install all these basic modules on raspbian buster legacy version today's session i have created a flask app repository we need to simply clone the repository okay so i will mention the repository link inside the description box then go to the code copy link then open terminal and simply we are going to clone our repository sudo git clone paste link and just hit enter it will clone our repository then we need to first go inside our folder so cd flask app hit enter if i run the ls command we need to move index.html file inside the templates folder so we need to create here a templates folder so sudo mkdir templates okay sudo space mkdir templates this is what our folder hit enter now we need to move our index.html inside the templates folder just hit enter now run the cd command come out from the flask app folder and we are going to change the owner so sudo ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user pi is the group and our folder name which is the flask flask app that's it now simply minimize the terminal then go to the menu programming tony python id and it will open our tony python id file click on open pi flask app and we need here our main.py file so simply main.py click on open and there is no need to change anything from the file okay so simply run the main.py and it will generate the http link as you can see here it will generate the http link now we need to know the ip address of our raspberry pi 4 so if config command so i have here ethernet ip address also also i have here the wlan ip address okay so i am going to access the ethernet ip address you can access of course wlan ip address also so 192.168.0.100 is the raspberry pi 4 ethernet ip address so now what we are going to do we are not going to open our application from raspberry pi 4 we are going to open the ip address of our raspberry pi 4 and our application from my windows machine so windows machine open the browser and here we need to mention our raspberry pi 4 ip address and the flask application port which is the 5000 so raspberry pi 4 machine ip address is 192.168.0.101 ship colon and the port number of our application our flask application which is the 5000 if i just hit enter it will start the camera and as you can see now i can able to access the face recognized application from windows machine and it's detected my face and it says here that we have a person one detected so now i have here another person uh, photo or we can say the image if i show that person face to the camera it's counted now now it's counting person two again person one again person 2 ok so now if I close the application from windows machine the camera will be turn off means from our uh, raspberry pi 4 machine you need to simply run main.py but the camera will not started until you mention the ip address and port from any browser means from any of your network machine browser okay so as i show you for my window machine web browser 
when I enter the IP address and the port number and if I hit enter then the camera will start it otherwise the camera will not start it ok. So, this is how friends you can create the face recognized application with the help of flask and you can access your application from web browser ok. So, I hope you would learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye.